Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. I apologize, we're doing this on my phone because my studio camera won't really fit in the cabin of the truck and move around freely. And my phone only has five minutes of memory left, so we're going to do this quick. So, I picked up the truck for $35,000 out the door on a five-year loan. And the private party value currently sits at $38,000. So it was a no-brainer to get the ZR2 because the work trucks and the LT1, LT7, LZ, I don't know. They, they don't hold their value like this truck does. So the number one positive feature about this truck are the Multimatic DSSV uh, shocks, which are the same technology as the Ford GT supercar. So Chevy usurped Ford GT's suspension technology by buying shocks from the same company. So, uh, the other thing is the frame-mounted rock sliders. Those are real rock sliders. They're not fake. Um, it has an aggressive front bumper. The grill looks great. Blacked out badges. The two downsides is this is like a matte, shitty black crap paint on that plastic piece on the hood. I'm probably going to have that repainted. And then I've gotten a lot of damage on the side. I've only driven 200 highway miles and there's rock chips all over the fucking thing already. So I ordered Rock Blocks mud flaps in our next video. Um, the, uh, another good thing, sorry I'm going fast because I'm low on memory. Um, I got a um, trailer connector. It came with a trailer hitch, not the ball obviously. Um, and it's a proportional uh, brake controller. So we opened the vehicle, all nice black leather, great looking interior. Um, the only problem is it's really hard to get into. There's no assist grip like there is on the other side. So you have to use the steering wheel, which I don't like doing that. I think it's stupid to pull on the steering wheel to get in a truck, but now we're in. So, and of course the keys are in my pocket. So the interior, I mean, it's an interior. Android Auto is the big lure for this 2019 versus like an older one. So you got Android Auto, and then you got all these cool menus, um, speed, trip, it's all mad at me, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, not so good, fuel economy, very bad, um, a timer, battery voltage, oil pressure, engine hours, transmission fluid, trailer brake, and then off-road. Off-road's awesome, because if you turn your wheel, it'll show you degrees turned, angle, all that. Uh, it's got the off-road mode by just clicking on this button, it goes into off-road mode, automatic lights, of course. Um, there's a proportional brake controller, plus or minus, emergency brake. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me, th let me think, let me think, let me think, um, negatives. The negative is this giant plastic bezel, so when you're in driving position, this is about what I see when I drive, it occludes the gauges, actually more like, it's hard to do, more like this. You can't see the numbers when I look at it, it's, mm, eh, wish it would stop dinging, but, um, yeah, it's it's awesome, you know, the interior's nice, the mirror's a little meh. Um, I already got all my emergency supplies in it and the mud flaps over here. Um, tire slime just in case. Uh, the Android Auto requires a cable, but you should charge your phone anyway because it's common sense to have your phone charging while you're playing music and stuff. So, um, when I first got in, the seating position was like, like here. It was awful, but luckily the electric seat led me raise all the way up to here, and so now I can see over the hood clearly, um, <clears throat> and here you can kind of see that that matte black ugliness. I don't know if maybe it's to prevent sunlight from reflecting into your eyes, um, but either way I don't like it. So, and then I'm almost out of memory, hold on, let me put the key back in real quick. So if you go into, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm running out of memory. <laughs> my phone, I hate my phone, but Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, if you go into reverse, reverse, okay. Okay, reverse, there we go. So you got your nice, fancy, you know, dynamic uh, reverse thingy along with a trailer mode. So, and the trailer mode's dynamic too. So it's like a little tail that whips around when you turn your wheel, it's freaking awesome. So anyway, I love this truck. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the uh, mud flaps video. And exhaust, because that sounds awful.
life when I'm in this town.